maybe use the screen, get Rose free, let him create for either Carter or himself. Well, there was a possession a couple minutes ago where Carter penetrated into the lane, found a teammate for an open look. I think some penetration and a three-point shot here. Why not go for it for the win? 11.6 remaining on the floor. Carter will inbound. There's Rose. Ten seconds. Carter comes off the pick. Boss sets up the three. And here's the three. Rose for the win. There it is. With four tenths of a second remaining in the fourth quarter, Cleveland takes its final timeout. The Raptors lead by one. The penetration by Vince Carter leads to the open look. Take a look. Nice little triple screen here for Vince Carter, and he'll curl right into the lane. This draws everybody on the Cavs defense, forced into a major rotation. That leaves Rose wide open, and this crowd is stunned. And they just play some time back on the clock. Six tenths of a second now remain. Carlos Boozer was the person that left his man in the corner, and that's where the whole the whole rotation started from. Boozer thought that Carter was going to shoot it, but remember, a two only ties the game. A three wins the game. So as you see, when Carter runs his curl and gets in the lane, Boozer needed to stay home. It's very difficult, but you'll see him fight at the last second. Stop it right there. There's Boozer who had come from the corner. He's underneath trying to stop it. That forces the next man to run in the rotation, and that starts a chain reaction around the horn. That's why they swing it, swing it, and there's the guy wide open. You've got to understand what the score is. It's very tough to stay home away from the ball when your tendency is to help. Now remember, with six tenths of a second remaining, you can catch and shoot the ball. It does not have to be a tip. This is basically the season here for the Cavaliers. They don't score. They don't make the playoffs. Well, they would not be officially eliminated, but they would drop three behind Boston, and it would be very difficult with five to play following yeah, tonight. I'm saying unofficially. I see. It, but I think this crowd knows it. I think Paul Silas knows it. It's over for them if they can't come up with something. All right, six-tenths of a second remaining of the fourth. Ira Nubel will, will throw it in. You got to go to your best athlete because it's tough to even get a shot off with just .6 left. I think James has to somehow pop open and get the shot off. Back pick lobs, back pick lobs. That's what they're doing is looking over how the defense point shot by Jalen Rose, and now Nubel will throw it in. No pressure on the passer right now. Nubel looking. Has to get it in. Just does get it in. It's broken up, and the Raptors have defeated the Cavaliers. A major dent to the playoff hopes of the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Raptors 87 and the Cavaliers 86. LeBron James did come up big in the fourth quarter with eight of his 21, but shot just five for 17. Vince Carter with 32 points on 13 of 28, but it was Jalen Rose who came on late, and Steve, as you mentioned, they might go for the three, and they did. Well, and I love the penetration by Carter, because as you said, Mike, the defense tends to collapse, even though they know the, that a three will beat them. It's just a natural instinct as a basketball player. It's exactly what Toronto did. Rose knocks down the huge shot. All right, let's go to and I was able to step up and knock down the three. Throughout the night, we mentioned a loss by Toronto tonight. They're eliminated from playoff consideration. How badly do you as an individual and the team, how badly do you guys want to make the playoffs? We really want to make the playoffs just like every team in the NBA. Obviously, we have some unfortunate situations happen during our year, and uh, we just got to keep battling to the end and see what happens. What are your chances? Our chances are slim, but hey, uh, we still got our opportunity. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to be pros about it and see what takes a lot. <laughs> Well, uh, Jalen bringing yet another dimension to post-game interviews. So the Raptors go to 31 and 46. They remain alive, although slim hopes for their uh, playoff possibilities. Cavaliers 32 and 45. Coming up next, the Trailblazers and the Lakers for the Czar Mike for Very tough. Butler wants it. The dueling resets.